A Nazi got an idea in his head that he could fool an old wise fisherman into catching fish for him. He suggested that they join forces to go fishing. The fisherman was well aware of Anansi's reputation as a trickster and planned accordingly. On their first day fishing together, they cast their net wide and worked really hard, but were only able to catch one fish. The old fisherman shook his head in disappointment and said, Anansi, you should take this one fish, and if we catch two fish tomorrow, I will take those. Anansi protested, telling him, no, he would take two fish the next day and demanded that the old man take the one fish today. The next day, they cast their net wide and worked hard all day, but were only able to catch two fish. The old fisherman shook his head in faint disappointment and said, Anansi, you should take these two fish, and if we catch three tomorrow, well, I will take those. Once again, Anansi vehemently disagreed, saying that he would like to take the three fish the following day. The third day, they were able to net three fish, and the old fisherman once again asked Anansi to take the fish, explaining that if they caught four the next day, then he would take those. <sighs> okay, as foolish as it may sound, Anansi objected, even complaining that he felt like the old man was trying to trick him into not getting all the fish he deserved. The ruse lasted for weeks, until the net they were using was worn out, coming apart, and no longer usable. The old fisherman was left with an abundance of fish, while, because of his greed, Anansi was left with nothing but hunger. As the age-old proverb says, the wealth of the greedy often ends up in the hands of another. I've shared with you a story. This makes us friends. And this is how another tale of the infamous trickster Anansi ends. If your mind is stimulated by these tales of wisdom, fables, and parables that challenge the intellect, then subscribe like and definitely hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when newer ones are posted. As I'm fond of saying whenever signing out, until I press cross again, which I hope will be soon, doni doni, kununi benyagada.